Hello users, uh, welcome to Full Stack Day. So in this video, uh, what we can do is uh, whenever uh, when we have multiple users to chat and uh, when I am chatting with a user and any another user has sent me a message and uh, we we can update the unread count in, here in real time. So to do that, uh, we need to create one another account. So let's create an, another. Uh, Account. Let me open a new browser. We can use the edge browser, and we can have this. I will open. If we can register for a new user. We can say the name will be dev. Email will be dev at the rate millimeter com. Password and yeah. As you can see, we have two users here, and both the users are online. And we can say, we can update also here chat window. And you can see all the users are online at the same time. Okay, so now the what the case is uh, that we want to do is, to do is uh, Rahul and. Uh, Ajay is chatting with each other and in that time if Dev has sent a message to Ajay then what we need to do is we need to update the count here by the number of messages like as you can see if I refresh the page not here and not here if I refresh the page you can see uh, there should be Account. I can say let's it's read one. Okay, what happened here? To check why is why this event emitted? Wait. Okay, let me send a message to Ajay. Test and Ajay has opened the chat of Rahul. Means it should not be is read one. So let's check what happens. What happened? We can say this. Okay, 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 okay. We have made a mistake. Uh, uh, this event will only will be fired only if uh, this condition was also true. Like uh, because if actually not this but this one. If this this and this condition will be true only in that case will be read means uh, we are chatting with each other and also we need to place it here actually the reason behind this is we are checking if uh, the message is received by us or messages read messages sent by us in this condition uh, if we put this line here it will always appear in the true because we are sending the message and we have checked that if we send the message it will be appear it will be this condition will be true and here we are checking if we send this message then go here and if we receive the message go here and the user is not receiving the message because he is not open that chat window so that's why we need to set it here so now let's check it <laughs> Let's send message test one. Now, if we I check here, you can see it's still not pairing. It's a one. Okay, so we need to also refresh here, refresh here, and also refresh here. So now let's send a message. And now if I check 
yes as you can see now the unread message is one because we have not read that message yet and, and we are currently in chat with rahul so what we can do is we need to if i send again a message again 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 this should be uh, update it should be get updated every time when i receive a message from dev until i go to this go to the profile of dev so what we can do is uh, whenever when somebody is sending us a message we are receiving it is in the else part here we are receiving an event and it will go in else condition so now we need to with that also we also need to get all the unread messages while receiving that event so when the insert condition is true condition is true we have sent the event to the user before that we also need to get all the unread messages of that user to do that we can say select count id as read messages from chats where so we need to get all the unread messages and we can say user id equal to user id will be the data dot user id and other user id and other user id will be dollar data dot the user id and here instead of it should be id select from the id so that's where user id will be this and this and which read will be zero zero and we can say function here result and if i if uh, we got any error we can throw an error otherwise we can say we can pass the unread messages count here data dot result zero dot unread messages okay so now we can check by console log we are receiving or not so let's refresh here so refresh here and he will not receive that only the other user will receive that key you can see here we are not getting thing and here we have got an error cannot read property zero when we find this so Oh shit. It, will be, it should be like this. So now, if I send a message, as you can see, I received and also I get the ended message count here. And we have two ended messages. And I send another message you can see and the message will be two this time okay 
no now let's show that count in here so for that we we can do is we need to actually set an outer here tape so we can change the content of this div dynamically DLB and we can say mm. and we can pan this pan it like this and read count Here, what we can do is dollar letter other ID. HTML will be let's copy it here to here and the count will be you can say data dot messages okay so now let's test it okay now uh, let's refresh all the tabs and we can say I am chatting with Rahul and if uh, they have sent me a message hello and here is the six messages and leave and actually this is not changing let's see what happened receive message object and read messages count we are receiving the added messages count but I think the problem is here. Other user ID is one. User ID is three. Okay, so we need to change it to user ID actually. Now let's refresh it. Refresh it. I send message you can see the count is increasing and if uh, I change the tab to this and if I send a message no count was there and now if uh, Rahul sent me a message then this time count of Rahul will be increased So that is the power of socket. We can easily create a simple to complex chat application using this. Okay, uh, so that's all for this video. And in the next video, we will handle the typing indicators. Like uh, we will show the typing. Someone is typing. Uh, we will implement that thing in the next video. So be don't forget to subscribe, share and like the video.